half down. Looks like no big deal, but the camera does no justice. Doing it in wet shoes, even harder. All right, here we go. Did our first pan right here. The bedrock was going the direction with the creek here, like I always tell you guys, when it turned. If you can see here, the bedrock's going the opposite direction. Another pothole here, broke some bedrock. And check this out. Beautiful. Oh, there's three, there's a third one there. But that's a nice little flake there. Can you see it good? Yeah. Let's see. It's a picker. It's flat, but look how jagged. That did not travel far. Beautiful, Aurora Gold. Not bad for a couple scoops. Beautiful. Next, we're gonna do those tailings here. We'll show you guys a pan of that. Just dug a big hole through there, and now we're gonna sample it. Let's go see the, let's go see the hole you dug there. Let's see where you're at, look at this. The camera does no justice, right? None. Okay, these, these piles are big. So here we go. We're gonna sample this here. This was their best pay dirt. Let's we'll see what they missed. This is promising, beautiful out here. We're in a big ravine, both sides, and down here is a big flat field. I just got a good feeling about this. Yeah, here we go. Two creeks meeting here. We're gonna be running our little stream through for sample. Put it set up. But this here, this whole field all the way across has river gravel. But I want to show you guys. All this right here is decomposing bedrock. And you can see it goes down over here. So let me see. Some gravels are resting right up on the decomposing bedrock. And then you see it drop. And you get them gravels much lower. When sampling the sides of these banks, you want to find the lowest part of the bedrock. You can see what the bedrock was doing before. And then this is our existing bedrock now. That material sitting right on it. Lowest point is right here. But in this material, you can see clearly different storms. There's a whole other gravel layer up here. And this is another color gravel layer. And then you have this bottom layer. Three different layers. Now the gold will rest on the bottom of each layer or the top, you know, of the, of the layer beneath it. So if this is a red layer, the good gold should be on the bottom of that red layer, sitting on this gray layer, the top of it. And then of course, your bottom layer will be on your bedrock. You wanna sample them all differently. We're gonna run a couple of buckets of this stuff. Look at that, that looks beautiful. Three different layers in there. Each one's a different storm. Absolutely beautiful. Eventually gonna sandbag this area, see if we can get the water to rise and dredge the whole thing bank to bank. All right, wish us luck. We'll be back shortly. Your brother. Blue. And on the water off the sun, we've got nice uh, ripple action going, but flat sands, and look at all the garnets, huh? Never seen so many garnets anywhere else. Super heavy material. Looks like it ran pretty good. Thought we saw a nice picker in here. We're going to just climb up. I took the 
hands out. We'll go ahead and rinse this out and show you guys the cleanup in the pan. Still here, day two sampling with our stream sluice. We've got these little, we uh, shortened the width of the water and really sped it up. Sluice was set up right here, it worked perfect. We've been clearing out this bedrock hole here. It's that big hole, but look, I'm experimenting with these sandbags. You know, a place to put your pump, maybe get the creek a little bit higher for the dredging, but gotta see if it's legal. Gotta look into it if anybody knows. Leave in the comments, but this is, um, looks like it will work pretty good. There it is. My brother, my dad. Beautiful little spot. Big bed right in there. It goes down about two, three feet. And then this is bed right here. Straight hole when it comes around like this. The bed right like this down there. Beautiful. Gonna do some panning now. This is the cons from the stream sluice. If you want one of these stream sluices, check the link in the description. Just started selling them along with classifiers and other supplies. It helps support us a lot. Tell us what you think. We'll show you the cleanup.